My bestie is stuck on a guy. Hi, BTS squad. I have a dilemma. Well, actually, it's one of my besties' dilemmas, but I and the rest of my friends no longer know what to say to her or if we (sighs) Uh -uh. should say anything to her. She's been going through a rough time, but this guy is clearly not the one for her. She listens to your podcast. I'm hoping maybe listening to her story Uh, and hearing someone else's insight may help her see the light. Can we pause just there? Why do you use use our podcast as an intermediate to get from one to one place? (laughs) Like, honestly, can't you just go directly to the source? What's going on? (laughs) She goes in brackets. I pray. That's so funny. Anyway, Mm. cool. So here goes. My bestie, let's call her Liz, has been dating this guy, I'm going to call him Toby, on and off for the last five to six years. Mm. On and off. On and off. Hey. Five to six years. That's a long time, years. boy. Ciao. Mm-hmm. I know how that is. She goes, uh, five to six, no, come on, it wasn't five. It was, who? Five to six years? Five to six years. Okay. How many years? Sorry, give me a rough time range. How many years? I'm going to need you to connect the dots. <laughs> I really can't. <laughs> we <laughs> <learned after. laughs> Sorry, I was thinking I have a question yeah. about that. Yeah. Is the person based in this UK? Yeah. Okay, okay. Anyway, I think I, I think I might know who it is, but we'll discuss yeah. after. Cool, 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 cool. cool, cool. <laughs> Ciao. You For the know. last five to six years. Honestly, I lost track after all this time. I don't even blame you because five to six years, bruv. Do you know yeah, how many things have happened in that time? Yeah, it's mm, a long bruh. time. Cool. They met at work and basically have not been able to stay away from each other. The mm. guy seemed great, but had lots of red flags right from the start. Sorry, why do people do that? Like, the person is great, but has hella red flags. How so can how the person great? be great? Maybe the red flag, no, but to be fair, for something to be a red flag, then it means it's red. Yeah. Because you know, some people just As say red flag. What? No, but Blue. some people say red flag, but it's like, it's a red flag that you can manage. Yeah, do you know yeah. there's some there's red some... flags that you can when you yeah, look at you the positive. You might positives, see it as a red flag. Oh, yeah. for me, it's a red, red flag. Yeah, okay, yeah, okay, yeah, I got yeah, you. Yeah, okay, yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. Ah, my phone has logged to one, <laughs> one second. Okay, cool. Um, has lots of red flags. Uh, the guy seemed great, but had lots of red flags from the start. He has a child and a weird relationship with his child's mother. Let's call her Becky. Toby currently. Let <laughs> me <mean>, looking at. <laughs> You need to stop drinking that drink. <laughs> Honestly, just she needs to stop drinking. Thing on the table. Do you know what I mean? Just open her yash like that. Oh, so cool. Dumb. Toby currently lives in Becky's dad's house with their child, but Becky does not live there. Say Can that we say again. That again? Toby currently lives in Becky's dad's house with their child, but Becky does not live there. So the guy lives in the house of the child's Ex- granddad. This is you, did you get it? Yeah. yeah. Okay, cool. Um, but Becky does not live there. At one point in the relationship, Liz and Toby decided to move in together in Becky's dad's house. Hold, Hold on. on a minute. Pause. Why would you want to move in to the house of your partner's ex-family? As does that the, make as sense? The as the girlfriend. Does that make sense? You know, I know people ah. are trying to showcase that, you know, oh, we're unified, we're together, I accept them, I accept, the, you know, the whole load. But surely living in someone else's house is a bit too... Hmm. Cost of living is a crisis. <laughs> you're dumb. Cost of living is a crisis. So you're telling me because crisis. of that, you should now go and move in I there. didn't say that at all. I'm just <laughs> saying that maybe Liz ain't got the money. Oh, it's true though. <laughs> it's either this or on the streets, honey. <laughs> but, okay. that, but it's okay, so she hasn't got the money, but it seems like the guy also doesn't have money. So then Nobody having has to lean onto the parents, onto grandparents, that's it's even, tight. It's even weird that... I, I, it's so... Sorry, it's weird. Mm. And the dad... The, the granddad is living yeah, in mad. the house. Yeah, he's mad for accepting that. The whole, the whole situation. I don't think he's... Uh, he's mad for accepting that. I'd just be like, sorry, it's, it's oh, only my... Yeah, it's yeah, only yeah, my that's grandkid. Weird, that's weird, that's weird. It's that's only weird. my grandkid that I need to yeah, look yeah, after. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If my dad was you like... Your, yeah, like especially, partner. especially if my grandchildren's parents are not together. Yeah, yeah. but maybe the daughter did something bad. Okay. Because since they've said now that he has a weird <clears> relationship <throat> with his ex... But then it, it could be that the granddad he, has a good relationship with, with him. the with him. Yeah, that he's maybe, able to live in the house. Yeah, because maybe the daughter's actually done something mad. You never sure. know. Like he might be like, you know what? She's done something mad, and it's her fault that you guys aren't together. Mm. I still love you guys, and I want my grandkid to have the best environment. Come and live there. I get that aspect. That that can exist. That can happen. Mm. That can mm-hmm. exist. Mm-hmm. So extend it to the partner, his new partner. That's kind of yeah. <laughs> 
I'm interested. just kind of deep in my dad living with my ex boyfriend and his new girlfriend. That's crazy. And your and child. And my child. That's that's crazy. crazy. Talk about a blended family. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway. Cool. Um, Toby currently lives in Becky's dad's house with their child, but Becky does not live there. At one point in the relationship, Liz and Toby decided to move in together into Becky's dad's house. They lived there maybe a year or two before Liz found out that Toby had been talking to other girls via social media. Right. I think there was also other signs of infidelity, but I don't think she wants to share them with us. Sisters, we start together. <laughs> Heal it, oh Lord. Heal it. Heal the, heal the land. Heal it, oh Lord. Healing. 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 This world is oh, evil. God. This, this world, world is evil. It's an evil world we live in. Nah, honestly, honestly. Where's the future? It's an evil world it's we live in. It's an evil world. Heal the land, oh Lord. Mm. Anyway, <laughs> I think there were other... Heal the sick. <laughs> I think there were also other signs of infidelity, but I don't think she wants to share those with us. Ah, she I shared too much. Yeah, that's, <laughs> she, already she has shared that's too much. Man. You're already typing. You're already typing. You're already typing. The fact that you're typing, she shared mm-hmm, too much. Hundred mm-hmm, mm-hmm. percent. Um, she tried to get past it, but I wouldn't. I would not stop. Wait, she tried to get it past. Ah, sorry, yo. She tried to get past it, but it would not stop. So eventually she broke up with him, mm-hmm. moved out, and even left the job they worked at together. Hi. Okay, so that's, this is the friend, right? Yeah, this is Liz. Yeah, yeah. Since then, Liz has gone out with other guys, but still compares them to Toby. Let's talk about that. Comparison, yeah, can mm-hmm. actually kill. Because, no, it can. Yeah, it's a thief yeah. of joy. It's a thief say. of joy. Like, you're never going to be happy. And you know how we were talking about this with Cam when you came with the episode, like, you will be in the relationship and let's say there's 20% that's missing. Yeah. Then when you find someone else, like your that person could have like everything you need, but maybe that, I don't know, maybe it's that 20% or whatever it is, you're like leaning back to the old person. You're thinking, oh, but they don't have this, but you're forgetting that this new person has the thing you As, were missing yeah, before yeah, yeah. and even more, but you're just yeah. so fixated on what you had before. Yeah, like yeah. you can't live a life like that, you know? Yeah, she can't. Yeah, like you said, comparison can actually kill because you'll just be thinking, oh, but this person had, had this, this and this person had that. But you're not accepting so the, the new person as a whole. Exactly. And that person that you're even thinking about might have been mistreating you, but this yeah, new I person... Is- do you know what it is? I actually don't even think most people are like, oh, this person had this or they had that. I think that is definitely an element of it. Yeah. But I think often people compare like how they felt like in the two different situations. Mm. And it's like, you need to remember that that feeling, that high that you had was, was only fake. like 10% of your whole entire relationship. Yeah. Yeah. And the 90% of your relationship, you were crying. Yeah, yeah, but it might not even just be that. It might also be a case where it's like, that feeling that you're feeling wasn't actually like... Oh yeah, now that real. you know now everything that you know, that you, know. you know, it wasn't that you were living like a lie. You were... <laughs> no, but it's true. I've been there, so... <laughs> Heal the world, Lord. <laughs> Heal it. Kill the land. I was going to say as Kill well, like, have you guys ever been in a situation where... No. <laughs> <laughs> yes! <laughs> I, 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 I can never be! No, I'm joking, I'm joking. Go on. Probably. No, no, like, like, you're, talk, you're, you're like getting to know a guy, yeah? Mm. And he's ticking all the boxes, but there's just something off. Missing. There's just something missing. He's like, cheating. Yeah. He's a cheater. That's no, it's not even like is. cheating. Just like, you know, because... I'm asking this question because you spoke about like a feeling. Mm, and yeah. you know, sometimes when, oh, when yes. you're when you're talking to someone, you want to feel, oh, I can do yeah, anything. Yeah. I'm on top of the world. This is the best time. Yeah. But if you don't feel that in the first couple of months, do you yeah, not feel like mm, something's, something's off? off. Mm. Yeah, I hear it. I, do, you no, do you normally know what it is or can you not identify? Because I think for me, I can I can be like oh something's off something's off something's off but I feel like when I really sit down and think about it <laughs> you know I it can is. figure it out yeah. it's just I don't really want to say it out loud like I don't mm. want to I don't want to know I don't want to admit to myself that I'm shallow yeah I, maybe that was on my mind yeah that's yeah, probably yeah, it. yeah that's probably yeah, it yeah, that's probably yeah. it. It's like I don't really like his car or he doesn't have a car <laughs> or a license anyway <laughs> let me carry on so since then Liz has so gone well. by with other <laughs> has gone. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, okay. You we actually can't do it. <laughs> Please, <laughs> look at that Beyonce fam. Anyway. Oh, gosh. Since then, Liz has gone out with other guys, mm-hmm. but still compares them to Toby. She slept with him. Who? I don't understand. She's. Oh, okay, sorry. 
I got ahead of myself. She has slept with him multiple times since their breakup. Yeah. She says they're back together, but they break up within a few weeks, days, sometimes even hours. Ha. Hours? How you break? <laughs> nah, how you break up within hours? That's how ridiculous. do your friends know? Like, yeah. when you text them, oh my gosh, we're back together. Yeah. Sorry, I don't, I'm yeah. just joking. <laughs> That's crazy. Like, you start a movie. By the end of the movie, you're, you're done, bro. You're bro, done. not even a movie. Like, you go and watch the place. You come back and it's like the text message and then the text message after that. Oh, it's crazy. Come on. Yeah, it's crazy. Cool. She also had a fling with his co-worker who he works with all the time. It gets worse. Despite having another job, she went back to the old job. Uh-huh. Part- Part time uh? and now has to see him all the time and the co worker she slept with. Uh, I think they are currently together right now, but I'm Sis, not. leave the job. She goes, What's going on? I think they're currently together right now, but I'm not really sure. Who's they? The, the co worker? I don't even know. <laughs> wow. This is, this is just scatty. This is just scatty. I don't even know. Why do people get with people at work? Yeah, I couldn't do that. Why? Man. I don't get it, man. Why? 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 People have done it, you know? Yeah. And I've never understood it. I've it. never understood it. I never. Can never. I could never. Could never. Sorry, I know, know we like, I know we said we know we, like we could never, but I actually genuinely could never. I don't think I could do that. I think there's a barrier that would actually stop me. Like one, I don't even get too wave at these social events because I actually don't trust anyone. Yeah, like, you I know trust when you soul. can be free. I just feel like us as you black can't people, be free or... we can't be free. Like honestly, as black women at work, we can't be yeah, free. Yeah, we can't. I'm so sorry, but we cannot be free. Yeah, and other people can, but yeah, I just I actually couldn't get with someone. Like no, that. no, 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 no. Especially in the same office and same team that I have to see you. Yeah. If you're on a different same floor, team. if you're not, not even the same team, okay, fair enough. I, I rarely see people on another floor. Yeah, I don't even yeah, see other yeah. people in another team. Sure. Yeah, same team. Like, like getting, like, there were, not my year, but the year yeah. below me, the grad scheme. Mm. Pe- it was incestual. That's just oh, crazy. Oh, yeah. Crazy. I could never do that. Yeah. But like, I've n- I work for very small companies now, so yeah. even more so, like I couldn't do yeah. that. Yeah. One thing I hate is embarrassment and like my name and my everything yeah, just yeah. Yeah. business. Like, I hate that life. stuff. I hate that. Mm. So I don't. I can't. First of all, I'm even the only black person in my company anyway, so there's no opportunity to even get with anybody. <laughs> but yeah. in a yeah. situation, Quali. sorry, Quali. Quali. <laughs> still <friend>. fighting. <laughs> <laughs> Um, but yeah, when people are like they got with like their co worker and they have to see them every day, I'm like, impossible, impossible, impossible. You, impossible. y'all be safe, you're legit. Okay, uh, this next part actually kills me, yeah, because you know, when you finish bashing your friends, yeah, she is a beautiful, strong, <laughs> educated. <laughs> After all that, you after is beautiful. All that. You is kind, and you is important. That is so funny. <laughs> okay, she's a beautiful, strong, educated, and really nice person, and needs to stop going back to this guy. Mm. What do you guys think? P.S. I love your podcast. You guys are all so funny and empowering. Listening to you guys is like hanging out with my friends and having a good laugh. I hope you guys mm. continue to grow. Amen. Oh, thank amen. you. Thank you very much. Thank you for that. But your friends, <laughs> ah. Chat, Liz. Edge If you're watching this one, that means please, and you're up. Please, I'm begging you, leave that. Leave, leave that the man. Yeah. Leave the yeah, Toby. There's nothing. Leave, leave the Toby's yeah. co-worker. Yeah. Leave the job. Leave the job. You've done enough damage. I hope that you're not still in that house, living with Toby. Leave the leave the dad. Yeah. The, the, the granddad. Leave the kids. And the kids. It's not your kid. Yeah. Man. Leave Just it. move on. This yeah. is a toxic situation. We've even we've even gone away from the fact that. Her, the Toby and her and his baby mama. Mm, I don't even like difficult... calling them baby mama. Mother of his child mm. are having a difficult relationship. Let's mm. even start there. Why mm. would you even put yourself in that position? Yeah. Trust me. <laughs> it ain't worth it. It ain't worth it. And when Tammy says, trust me, I trust him. <laughs> <laughs> it ain't worth it. It ain't worth it. Mm. Trust me. Mm. And then you're now moving in. Yeah, that's like, crazy. You seem to be making a lot of bad decisions. Like, I like to, I, I like to give people benefit of the doubt, but it mm. just seems tough. Time after time, <laughs> it's the for, the last, the for the last six years. You okay. have not, you have not, you have not hit in the target. Don't kill me. <laughs> I have to give you the H factor. You have <laughs> not <laughs> hit in the target. I'm so done. Oh. Yeah, yeah, listen, I don't, I don't know. I think um, obviously you need to leave the job. You need to leave the guy. You need to just leave everything behind and start fresh. Mm-hmm. That's literally what you need to do. But again, like we always say, it's a lot easier said than done. When you're mm-hmm. with someone, especially for so long, like you do get that comfortability factor. Like you start to like think, oh, okay, things aren't actually as bad. And like mm-hmm. Sharon said before, things that us women tend to do a lot, which is we cling on to like the good times and we like hold that as like the truth. Like, oh my God, like things were so good back then. It can get back to that. Yeah. Honey, it's been six years and it's not been getting back to that mm-hmm. time to remove yourself from yeah. that situation and yeah. bounce. Um, but yeah, I mean, the fact that your friends are coming and messaging us, they, they obviously care. 
Oh yeah. They obviously care. They, you know, and they and they really don't want you to be with this person. Not saying that you should do it because your friends say so, but having an external person look at your situation and give you insight about it sometimes can make it like, and even probably you hearing it, like you hear us talk about different dilemmas and stuff. Mm. You can hear it when you when you play back what you're going through. It's not making sense. Sometimes you don't actually deeper when you're in it because you're just like, mm, the time frame is was so long ago. You don't put two mm. and two together. When something's actually been consistent for so long and can been consistently bad, honey, it's time to wrap it up. Mm, time 100%. to wrap shit up. Um, I'd but, agree with that. Yeah. I'd say like, I think if you haven't listened to, oh, I was going to say last week's, but that's not actually the case now. A couple of weeks ago, we had a di- like a lady come on, well, not come on, she sent a dilemma and she was saying that she's 27 and she's really sad because she's like, has to now start again. Mm. And like my response to that was, like God's grace, you'll live a long life and you want to dedicate the next 60 plus years of your life to somebody who's actually worth your time and Definitely. energy. 100%. And I just feel like you've been in this situation for six years and the fact that your friends have said that he had red flags from the start, you've been mm. in that situation for six years too long. Yeah. You need to cut it off before you're there for another six years and it's 12 years. Do you know what yeah. I mean? I just feel like you are delaying the inevitable and it's like a harsh truth, but it's the truth. And mm. I'm sure your friends have probably like relayed this to you as well. I mean, obviously we were joking about it, but the situation actually isn't funny. Like no. I, I genuinely feel like you need to let this go and like spend some time to yourself. Yeah. Like Beatrice said, a lot easier said than done. We've all been there, like mm. all of us sitting here today. We've all been there. And eventually you thank yourself for it. Because yeah. you're like, thank 100%. God, like yeah. I, I yeah. learned yeah. that situation. Best out there. Huh? Yeah. Yeah. And then as well, you're you're not tied to him in any type of way. Yeah. Like, yeah, he already go. has a he already has a child, and his, <clears throat> his the baby the, mom, his baby mom, or mm. mother of his child, mm. is tied for him for life. So yeah. much so that they're living in her dad's house. Yeah, yeah. you don't like, have to you do don't, that. You have an easy exit. Please yeah. get Take out of jail free card. You yeah. have that. Please use that's, it. That's, <laughs> Please use it. It's true. <laughs> you don't have any ties to this person. Mm. Please run. Yeah. Please. Facts. Please. Yeah. Facts. I know I was going to say, even like when you said about the red flag thing, like, okay. Obviously, when you start with a red flag, it's bad itself. But sometimes some red flags can start to fade because situations can change. Over yeah. six years, you can improve. Ah, honey. It's just flat. It seems like the red flags are even extending. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You're adding more. <laughs> They're multiplying. They're multiplying. No, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, uh, even, with, that, even with this dilemma, the red flag at the start was different to the red flag at the end. end. Yeah, yeah, facts. It's actually it become the red sea yeah, of no, just legit, flags. Of flags. It's crazy. No, nah, please. So, yeah. Please. It's time to bounce on. Time yeah, to bounce yeah. On. yeah. Um, thank you to your friends anyway, Sha. If there's an yeah, update, man. please, uh, please, send us know. please. We, we love it. That is good news, all. Yeah, ah, please. And Joe. <laughs> I'm crying, I'm crying But um, welcome back guys Another episode of the BTS podcast You are joined by your lovely host Beatrice Tammy And Sharon Welcome back guys Good to have you um, Oh, is this where we now announce That we are huh? Announce Yes. That, oh, yes, sorry, okay, No, yeah So guys, if you didn't know And if you're not following us on show, social, me- social media Make sure that you are. That's at BTS pod underscore on Twitter, Instagram, TikTok. That's where we make like most of our announcements and stuff. Yeah. But if you guys didn't already know, we're going to be opening for Past the Meerkat Woo! on the 10th of December. Um, yeah, we're going to be answering some of you guys' dilemmas live. We've never done that before. Yeah. So it's going to be, yeah. it's going to be super exciting. We're super yeah. nervous, but we're also so excited. I'm not nervous. Okay, oh, sorry. Okay. Sorry. Okay. On, I'm not nervous. She's standing on business. Honey, <laughs> honey. She's standing on business. You know me, I could command the stage. You know what I'm saying? Okay. You know me. You better tell them. You better tell them. You better let them know. Don't go there. Bitch is about to. <laughs> <laughs> Bitch is about to push the mic and do a cartwheel. No, no, bitch back. is, is no um, stranger to the stage. Oh, honey. If you ask her to wear white in church and start dancing at the age of 15, oh. she'll do that. Yep. I will She'll step do in. that. I will step in. We lift our hands in the sanctuary. <laughs> Woo! We lift our hands uh-huh. to give you the glory. Yeah, we lift our hands, we lift our hands yeah. to give you the praise. And we will praise you for the rest of our days. <laughs> Woo! Facts. She was doing the thing. Facts. You know, you know, every single act, like, performer, it was like, I started in the church, y'all. Yeah, yeah. I started in the church. My grandma took me to yeah, church. For real. And that was my story. Legit. Yeah, no, that's um, so funny. But yeah, no, I'm super excited. We obviously yeah. had them on our um on our like podcast. episode, our podcast. Honestly, like we I think we said it at the time, but like having them on, 
I haven't gelled with someone so like easily. Like yeah. immediately we yeah. met them for the first time, we were just like vibing. It was yeah. great. Yeah, so it was great. It's a good, good mix. Um, but yeah, please, please, please. If you want to see us live, oh, this will be a, a, trial, a trial, a trial run for our, you know, future show in, uh-huh. the, in the future. Uh-huh. <laughs> but guys, so please, done. the link for the tickets will be in our description yes. box. Please invite your friends, yeah. invite your family, yeah. bring your kids, bring yeah. your, okay, maybe not bring your kids, but <laughs> please make sure you come and support us. It'll be a yeah. chance to even meet us. We're not straight, we, anyone we see, yeah. we've seen so many people the last couple of weeks. Yeah, We're very legit, friendly. You can come legit. up and say hi. Do you have a dilemma? Maybe you can ask the dilemma. We can yeah, answer, you answer your dilemma yes. in person. <laughs> Get out. We ain't doing that. Ain't doing that, y'all. <laughs> But yeah, I think it'll be a good opportunity to us for us to get, you know, kind of familiar with the stage. Yeah. Maybe no bitch, which is already ready. Yeah. <laughs> it'll be a good way to for us to kind of get, you know, yeah. into that little scene and yeah. stuff. So I think it'll be really good for us. But yeah. yeah, yeah. We're super, yeah, we are excited. I'm a bit nervous. I had a dream about it the other day and I fell over. But anyway. <laughs> I always has a dream about falling over. If you're like, you're gradual, I'm going to fall over. I'm just like, yes. everything just about to fall I'm over. I'm always, oh gosh, I'm just always scared about falling over. But anyway, guys, please come and support us. Like Tammy said, link is going to be in the bio. It's, it's the O2, be- Shepherds Bush Empire. O2, London. London. For our audience outside of the UK, don't worry, we're we coming got you. soon. We're coming to you don't soon, worry, man. Don't worry, don't worry. 2024, we're, we're about to be everywhere. No, we outside. We outside. <laughs> But, um, again, but yeah, I just wanted to make that announcement. Yeah, I just wanted to make sure it's the 10th of, of December, December. 2023. Don't think it's in 2024. Yeah, so, yeah, it's only a couple of weeks. Yeah, legit. Legit, so, yeah. legit. Yeah, yeah. yeah make yeah, sure yeah. you guys got your tickets. Links will be in the description below. Um, but anyway, as you guys know, time for different segments that we discuss. So first one is going to be rating your week. So if you don't know, get to know. We basically like rate our weeks out of 10. Um, and yeah, just basically see how each, each other are doing. Don't know which one of you wants to go first. I can go first. Yeah. Uh, yeah, my week has been a 10. Oh, 10. Yeah, really. That's the first time we've ever 10. had on yeah, the show. 10. Seriously? Oh, yeah. Oh, sorry. I've just realized where you were. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. Makes sense. Yeah, was like, yeah so um, it was my brother's birthday yes. uh, this week. So he... Um, gathered mm, means yes. the word congregated congregated yeah, yeah, loads yeah. of his friends was accumulated like 18, yeah <laughs> 18 of us that went to Morocco for Crazy. about four or five days I think it was yeah and honestly we had a time it looked lit yeah, it looked we lit. had a time you like, don't snap as you I didn't, you didn't snap as much as you normally do I did on my in, well not on Snapchat but yeah. I did I did snap on my um, Instagram, Instagram but not as much, much. as I yeah, usually was because I was too busy yeah. enjoying yeah, I imagine, I imagine. so like went quad bike first time ever quad biking oh really the first yeah, time, first time. how was it I thought it was so good. Yeah, yes. I had so much fun because you know sometimes I'll get a bit scared of these um rocks. I know you. When when, when Tom, wait, no, hold on. When we talk about like going away or like just doing like activities, Tammy's always like, please, yeah. please. I'm because I'm that. just scared. Like, yeah, I'm yeah. scared of falling off. Yeah. I'm scared of just. I'm just scared. I hear it's, not, it's not. It's not as like. It's not as. I don't know how to explain it, but yeah, yeah there's a subtle like, adrenaline in that needs people, to be. Because people be like, oh yeah, quad bike and jet ski. I'm like, ah, yeah, that's, that's all fine, but it seems, it, I can fall. <laughs> like, like, people say it so casually, yeah, like yeah, it's yeah. something that you just hop on and then you're just doing. I can't lie, no, you know me, no, one thing about me. No skill required, you're just going. And I'm like, wait a minute, I, hear I need a lesson. Yeah, like, I, hear I can't just be going out and just yeah, be doing yeah, that. Yeah, so yeah, quad biking for the first time had am- had the am- amazing time. Yeah. It was like two hours of quad biking. So Love we that. went somewhere, went another yeah. place, yeah, drank yeah. tea, got back on the cocoa again, <laughs> saw a cat, you know, had a good time. And then um, my brother booked like a villa. Villa was so, yeah, nice. so nice. It was big. Were you sharing? Yeah, it was just me and my friend in a room and okay. every room had a bathroom. Lovely. So it wasn't any like, you only share with the person that like, you share in the room that's with. That's so good. So yeah, they had a pool, nice. uh, on-site, on-site staff, cooking, wow. food, breakfast, mm-hmm. lunch, dinner, which I really wanted. I need that link. Was, yeah. yeah. Shisha. Um, Love that. Uh, the ta- there was taxis that kind of came with it. So if you need a taxi, you just tell them. Mm, oh, we need a taxi. Yeah, it was, it was, it was good. Nah, man, we maybe we gotta do a little <laughs> trip. You know what I mean? We gotta do no, a little yeah. trip. Yeah, we went to Nobu, like a rooftop um, on on um, Nobu Hotel. Lovely. Um, we went to. It was it, honestly, it was such a good trip. Then so we went, you know, remember when I asked you, like Morocco, Dubai? Yeah. Someone, do you get white people now? Someone, someone also. Um, DM'd me yeah. like one of my friends and she was like oh can you like give a review on yeah. like how M- M- Morocco is yeah. and I'll probably definitely do that like separately on my Instagram as well but mm. what I would say is that it's actually really good if you if you go with a group that is kind of like 
on anything. Mm. And it's, I think it's good for a big holiday. Yeah. Like, I wouldn't go with, like, a significant... I don't really think I'd go with a significant other. I think I'm more likely to go to Dubai than Morocco. Mm. But for, like, a friend's big group, yep. stuff like that, yeah. Morocco is really, really good. Mm. And the thing is, we're only there for, like, four to five days. So it's we didn't not really... Yeah, yeah, it's not far. It was, like, four hours. It could yeah. be a flight. Yeah. But... Honestly, really good. I would I, I would go again. I know a lot of people be like, oh, I wouldn't go. What I would say, the food, like, because mm. obviously I said that we had, like, on-site staff. Mm. Sometimes the food was a bit hit and miss mm. because it was, like, traditional, some Moroccan stuff. But yeah. even then, like, yeah. I didn't really... I just, I, I ate what I the end of the day, yeah. and it's fine. And when we went out, like I said, we went to, like, Nobu. We went to, yeah. like, different places. So yeah, it, it was absolutely fine. But, I yeah, really, really good. But did you organize recommend- that by himself? Yeah, fully. But him, yeah, him, him and then like his friend. one of his friends um stepped in, but like okay. he found the villa, nah, he did well everything. Done, man. Big up, yeah, 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 yeah. So happy birthday to my brother. Yeah, happy, happy birthday. birthday, brother yeah. of the pod. We love to see yeah, you. Yeah, man, we love it. We love it. <coughs> oh wow, ten. That's fantastic. Yeah, really, really good. Like I, love that. I need I didn't know I needed that holiday until yeah. I was on it. Mm. Yeah, 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 it was I good. It. it was good. What about you, Sharon? Can I remove this week and just do last week? Okay. Okay. Yeah, I would give it a 10 as well then. Okay. Without, um, because when I got back from Nigeria, Mm. when I tell you, these last few days, I have been fighting for my life. Mm. You guys can probably hear it in my voice, like, Mm. mm, boy. Anyway, um, yeah, bitch and I went to Nigeria for our friend's wedding. It was like a very, I don't want to say impromptu, but it It was was kind of impromptu. impromptu, Because we had already kind of established that we weren't going to be able to make it because we were like, oh, it's going to be so expensive, right, right, right. But, um... He ended up using our credit card points to mm. go. So we only had to pay for tax, which was good. So we That's paid good. like 300 and something or yeah. something like that. Mm. Um, and it was actually really funny. Oh, we already told you, but like we got on the flight and we were, <laughs> sitting, <laughs> we were sitting. Basically, when Beatrice and I go away, Beatrice will always book me a window seat because that's my favorite yeah. seat to sit in. Mm. So she'd already been like, oh yeah, I've booked us a window seat. So I was like, okay, great. So we get into our row. I sit by the window. Beatrice sits in the middle and then another girl sits on the aisle. Yeah. Mm. One uncle comes and he's like, yeah, sitting in my seat. Mm. We were all just looking at each other. And then she turns and she goes, ah, oh my gosh, I just date who I'm sitting next to. You. Oh my gosh, do you guys have a podcast? We were like, <laughs> We are still on the tarmac. <laughs> As in like, yeah. you know, like the bags haven't even all, aren't even yeah, all on no, the plane. Yeah, yeah. Do you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it was funny because I think when we were boarding, you were like, I wonder if anyone will notice us in Nigeria. And it was yeah. really jokes because obviously we sat down yeah, and like, yeah, the girl yeah. was like, oh my yeah. gosh, no way. Anyway, so then he's like, he's trying to tell me that his seat is my seat. Mm, and we were seat. like, what? Mm, That's mm. so strange. Anyway. You were going to give it to him. Yeah. So we got up and then we were like, okay, yeah, like take this. And he was like, ah, actually one thing. What I can do for you is that hmm. if you like, I can sit in the aisle and you can enjoy those two seats. Yeah. So were you in his seat? No. So then I was like, oh, thank you so much. And yeah, I sat well, down. The plane, like, you know when all the screens come on? Yeah. Come on when the pilots. So I'm to, like, I'm yeah. looking at the screen number and I'm like, this is, we're in the right seat. We're in the right seat. And he probably clocked, but instead of him to be like, oh, sorry, I made a mistake. He's like, why well, can't I do, do for you? And I was like, this is just the epitome of Nigeria. Like, yeah. instead of just apologizing, mm. you'll be like, and oh, what I can do for, for you, you is, <laughs> like, no, what you can do for yourself is sit in your seat. Yeah, oh, it is. Anyway, cool. So, yeah, I got to the Lagos and stuff. Um, our friend Caduce bust oh, us. No, a massive. Really? What What happened? When we stepped off the plane. Now tell me. Let me explain. Let me explain. Okay, we need to take it in terms of the camera doesn't switch to Okay, it's true. So when you land in Nigeria, if you've been to Nigeria, the queue, Hmm. the queues are mad. Like you could be there to go through immigration, immigration, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Our friend was like, don't worry, listen, you guys are sorted. He messaged us before we left, like, send me a picture of what you guys are looking like. Just take a picture. This, This is what you're wearing. When you come out, it's pattern. You get, you get through. So we're thinking, uh, me, even my head, I'm thinking, okay, thank you very much. But we'll see. Let me Bro. start messaging me nah, now. No, no, legit. Because me and my brother are coming nah, together. When we step off, no word of a lie. One person just said, <laughs> we were out of there within five <laughs> minutes. Within no. five minutes. Oi, I felt exactly. It was honestly quicker than he throw immigration. It was so quick. And what? do you know what kills me? It's because the last time when I went to Nigeria, I went with my mum. We stood in that queue for hours. 
I'm not even joking. I think it was like minimum two hours. Yeah. Hey! Yeah. Anyway, Kudus. No. Not even just that. He bust us for the whole trip. trip. Oh my God. Shout out Joshua the driver. Yeah, his driver? Nah. Uh-huh. Sh- nah. Sh- <laughs> 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 Do you know what? Do you know what? him now? Do you know one thing, yeah? Because like, Kudus, it's true now. Like, yeah. you know yourself, yeah? yeah? You're not always the most punctual person. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So as soon as, before we even like got off the plane, I switched yeah. my sim straight away because I was yeah. like, I do not want to be waiting outside yeah. of these streets yeah. for Kudus. Like that's yeah. not where you want to yeah. be. Like yeah. Lagos, Mutalata, yeah. Hotel, yeah. Um, Airport. Yeah. Yeah. It's not where you want to be. Yeah. Yeah. It's not where you chill. It's not where you chill. You don't bro. get coffee. You no. don't get no. nothing. No. There ain't stuff. no, there ain't no meat ups there. Yeah. Yeah. No. Cafe Nero. No. You want to go straight into, into your that car and be out of there. Honestly. Brother, Anyway, because huh. there's anything for the boys, guys come like flies, bro. Yeah. Anyway, so I text him as soon as we land, and I was just like, "We've landed." <clears throat> he was like, "Cool." I was like, "Where are you?" He was like, "I'm in the car park." I said, "Wow, fantastic!" Bearing in mind, this is like five thirty, five forty-five a.m. He came correct. Nah, he came for okay, honestly. Okay, cheese, twenty feet. <laughs> okay, cheese. No, honestly, shut him out. Like, no, no. Thank you. Oh, honestly, Could you fantastly. Thank you. No. Yeah, thank you so God much. God bless you. But anyway, yeah. we were in Nigeria for a total of like six days. Yeah, yeah. it was such a short trip. But we my... squeeze. Hey, Beatrice. Hey, if I could shake your hand. <laughs> Well done, well done. <laughs> no, we squeezed a lot into that trip. Like, really? What? Not, yeah, no. We no, squeezed. it was co- and because the wedding had a. It wasn't just like okay, try it was, like, it was. It was like, like a full on. It was literally like a destination yeah. wedding. Yeah, like, you know, there's some we- weddings in Nigeria where they're oh, you only come for the traditional engagement. Yeah. but no, it looked like they accommodated for a destination yeah, wedding yeah, yeah, because fact. I'm sure a lot of people. Came from the UK. From yeah. like, I think some people forget when you go to Nigeria, it's actually a, de- <laughs> a destination <laughs> wedding. Even though we're Nigerian, sorry, me coming to yeah. your wedding that I am coming, I live in the UK, is a destination. Facts, mm-hmm. facts. So they treated it like a yeah, destination. Nah, Come on. Yeah, no, no, okay, it was, yeah, nah, it was, it was, so it was lit. lit. Yeah, it was, it was so a lit, fun. Yeah. It was just nice because, huh. like, also it was like everyone our age, like, yeah, you know? yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah, like, yeah. it was just lit. Also, the bride and groom are oh, lit. They look like, amazing. You like, can't have a bad time and be around them. It's impossible. Yeah, it's impossible. Like, so impossible. And also, it's like when the bride and groom set pace, like, you have to follow. Yeah. yeah Do you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, They're yeah. always on a vibe. So, you can't yeah. be standing there, like, yeah. looking, looking at bread, like, are you yeah, okay? Yeah, 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 but yeah. no, it was so fun. We had yeah. the best time. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. the hotel. Lagos, wow. Lagos Continental. Wow. Lagos Continental. Give me that. Shout out to what's the what's the cleaner's name? Emeka. Emeka. Ibo Gwenu. Ibo Gwenu. Nah, Lagos Emeka? because do you know why this is so this is so it means a lot to us. To our heart. Yeah. So last time we went to Nigeria. Oh yeah. yeah. Last time we went to Nigeria. Oh. <laughs> this was this was the tail end of COVID, but it yeah. was the beginning of Omricon. Yes. COVID. Yes. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. <sighs> mm. Brother, I think I'd barely been in the country like three days. And basically, like our friend who we were meant to stay with had yeah. COVID. So we yeah. had to get a hotel last minute. Yeah. yeah. <gasps> mm. Mm, don't even say it in there. Mm. That hotel? hotel? Mm. <laughs> From the time we saw, we went to go and do breakfast, and the breakfast has you know Beatrice, those you're even talking about breakfast. Do you not remember the first room when we tried? Oh yeah, to... please don't do that. Let's talk about that. Let's talk about that. Let's talk about that. <laughs> but there was one time we went to go. They said oh, we had breakfast. So I'm thinking, okay, cool. Went to go and do breakfast. Tell me why we looked. There's this like serving. You know, the serving dish where they have the fire underneath those yeah, things. Yeah, yeah. We just opened it. and It's just one uh, expired yam, and I said, yeah, nah, this, <laughs> this is this is not it. We, we didn't, didn't even enter that, we didn't place, enter that place again. again. No. Oh my god! Yeah, I mean, I even the like shower days. was dark. Like oh! everything was just the room. Wasn't the room dark as well? Yeah, everything yeah. about that hotel was dark. Dark. <laughs> dark. But Lagos Continental. Continental. Nice. No, it's, it's lit. Guys, I I tend to order room service like a bit when I do travel, but like the room, mm. the quality mm. of the food. I could live off the room service. Okay, but, okay, service but how how much was it though? Is it was it expensive? It's expensive for Nigeria, for yeah, sure. Yeah, 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 for sure, for sure. For but, Nigeria, but if you were, for a holiday, no, it's not expensive. No, okay. no, it's a standard. And for me, like I would stay there again without a shadow of a doubt. Oh, one hundred percent. It oh. was one hundred percent nominal. Okay, but yeah, yeah, yeah. Nominal. okay. Breakfast See you was, next year. No, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. No, facts. no breakfast facts. was eleven out of ten. Yeah, like, breakfast was. Oh my! I breakfast. saw the pastries. Hey. The crepes, the pancake. Crepe. Pancake. The Somebody omelet. that's lactose intolerant. Me that's lactose intolerant. I was eating it, bro. <laughs> I was eating it, bro. Are you dumb? 
Nah, that hotel, crazy. It was so, nah, so good. it was so... And do you know what's so funny? So the first day at breakfast, yeah, we're eating, we're eating. I look up and I was like, ah, is that not my pasta? Yeah, her pasta was there. It was so... From London? Yeah. yeah it oh was my so God. funny. Yeah. Pasty. Anyway, so um, he was there with like two other people from my church as well. So yeah. I went up and he was like, oh my gosh, Sharon, no way. Da, da. So I send, I took a picture of us and I sent it to my family group chat. But my mm. dad was taking long to like respond. Mm. So I called him and he was like, oh, hey, you okay? And I was like, yeah, can you look at the group chat? And then he overs it. Oh my goodness, no way. <laughs> Um, but yeah, anyway, Lagos was lit. Yeah. The wedding was lit. Yeah. Our friends were lit. lit. Like it's yeah. always a good time always seeing good our time. friends. Yeah, like yeah, yeah. they take care of us. I think you were us. even there with one guy I know called Beverly. Hmm. Uh, she, was she, she part might, of the wedding? She might not. She was at the um, beach beach thing. Oh, before, uh, okay. Do you know what she is? watches saw... the pod as well. Oh, okay. To be fair, like, that day was. She just... might not go. She might not have told you her name is Beverly. She might have told you her Nigerian name. Oh, okay. okay. She might have introduced herself yeah. to be fair. Yeah. Like, yeah. There were a lot oh. of people's names to remember, but. Yeah. Um... Oh, that looks. Yeah, hold on. Yay! Yeah, this guy looks familiar. Yay! Okay, okay. Sure, yeah, sure, yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah, sure. Yeah, cool. Um, um, but yeah, it was just a really fun time. Yeah, and, like, I had a really good time. It was nice to see all my friends as well. Mm-hmm. And then they you. did the surprise yeah, for you at the oh, restaurant. Yeah. Yeah, 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 everyone's been coming through, man. You listen to us when we said continue with the celebration. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, thank you guys. Yeah, Obviously, appreciate, appreciate it, it. And so like much. everyone that came up to us as well in Nigeria. So many of you. Was it that many? No, no Tammy, you don't understand. I don't think I understand. Even when we went to the club, mm. people staring and they came up. So I was like, oh my God, I was looking at you like, I would have, and I remember the podcast. Like, yeah. so many people yeah. stopped us. Really, really appreciate you guys. Um, it's good vibes, man. Really yeah. good vibes. So, what would you rate your week then? Because, because of that trip. Yeah, for sure. Like, that, was, that trip was a 10, for sure, yeah. for sure. After that, yeah. Hmm. But down, before, it was yeah, just downhill, was, yeah, like downhill. quite, quite steady, like not even steady. Sorry. <laughs> steady, yeah, yeah, yeah. steady. Yeah, we are getting <laughs> sick. We are getting yes. sick. Oh baby. my gosh. Um, um, but yeah, I was gonna say the noticing thing as well. Sorry, <clears throat> the noticing thing when I went to Rema. Hmm. Mm, mm-hmm. said, yeah. Sometimes you forget. Sometimes, like when we come here and we record and mm. we we shut down the lights and the cameras and yeah. the mics. Sometimes you actually forget that. It's People public. actually yeah, watch you. Yeah. And you'll see, oh, 10,020. Yeah, you see that, but it doesn't actually register in my mind that mm. that's how many people are actually watching. Mm. I'm telling you, I was even I was even running a little bit late for Rema, yeah. I mm. parked my car, so I'm rushing. You know, from you the park park, park, park one? Car park two or three, okay. I think it was. Okay. But, but around, but yeah. 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 I, it was even great because, you know, car on the day of an event, a car park is 37 pounds, yeah? Yeah. I, I saw that car park one was closed. I think it was full. So I went to car park two and they're like, oh, it's going to be 37 pounds. I said, cool. They gave me the ticket. Once I returned from the car, they told me that the parking is 14 pounds. I said, oh, fantastic. That's girl mask because I saved money. Yeah, facts, <laughs> facts. So yeah, I, as soon as I parked my car, I was rushing because I had to go and meet Sober. Mm. So I'm rushing. By the time I put my left foot Mm-mm. on the concrete of the O2, like as mm. in mm. stepping from the car park yeah. to the thing. Yeah. <laughs> oh my God, I love your I said, what? <laughs> Trying to arrange their shoes. Yeah, they were even trying to arrange their shoes. Like, oh, um, and then this thing you know, she was like, oh, oh my god, I love your puzzle. Oh my god, fam, so many people. Yeah, appreciate. I'm telling man, you, I the security that. guard that was, that was letting me into the standing because I got my ticket on the day, right? Yeah, let me into the standing. He was like, ah, because they were trying to take away Sober's perfume. Mm. I'm thinking, well, when have you ever taken away small perfume? It's not like a big perfume. Mm. That, and then the, the uncle was like, ah, calm down, dear. Like, baby, what's good? Like, calm down. Mm. And he was like, ah, wait till. <laughs> you look your face. You look. It's looking familiar. I, I said, feel like ever yeah. since that Tunde Ed not reposted. Yeah, Honestly, yeah. we the have a lot of Nigerians. Like, ah, yeah. wait. He was like, ah, ah. Wait till <laughs> your face is looking familiar. Don't and I was like, me. oh, I have put. She's like, ah, yeah, <laughs> yes. You've been telling men to you. You be. You, he was like, you be telling men and you be you be crucifying men. I shouldn't even allow you into this into this concert. Then one other guy, he came out from the yes. He, we should let her in. I'm like, kids, I have to run into the thing. Yeah, crazy. <laughs> just actually, Damn. just as you described that, yeah. that just reminded me about um when we went into the lift in our hotel. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then the auntie was like, do you guys have a problem? Yeah, she was, no, she was looking auntie. at me from one corner. Yeah. And I, and I was just looking at her. But me, I, you know me, I can just look at it. Yeah. <laughs> and then she's like, sorry, do you have a podcast or something? I was like, oh, yeah, 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 we do. Hey, 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 now. Hey, hey, now. Yeah, 
Aisha. She's been saying that. And yeah. then we leave. Yeah, their podcast is so, so funny. funny. She's still talking about it as the lift doors are closing. I'm <laughs> like, gosh. That's so jokes. <laughs> too, too funny, man. No, but um, I appreciate all the love and support that yeah. new people are. Yeah. Really, really. They're doing the do. Doing really, really doing the do. Mm-hmm. Um, cool. So next segment quickly is the song of the week. So each week we add a song of the week to our Spotify playlist. And also, guys, ah, we have revamped or we have left Link Tree. Hey! <laughs> we stepping have left. Stepping up. We're stepping up. Stepping up. We're stepping up. Stepping up. Money's going up. Hey! <laughs> One thing about me, I'm gonna make a song. <laughs> We're stepping up, hey. We're stepping up, hey. I think what's going on? We're stepping up, hey. Facts. Um, but yeah, now we've got a new link. So it's a Comey link. Um, shout out to them for allowing us to use the platform. So we, you can basically go onto that and you will see, see the link. Everything. Everything about hey. us. And you will see the link to everything the clean. Apple Facts. Nice. Everything clean and nice and good. Um, but you'll see the link to the Apple um, music playlist You see a link to the Spotify playlist So yeah Time to add songs to The song of the week So Sharon's smiling so much Go ahead <laughs> I'm not smiling You're no, smiling no. Smiling. 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 smiling from yet to yet <laughs> smiling, smiling. Okay Boy. Well the first song I want to add um, Is by Jessie Wu Who listens to our oh podcast Oh my god yeah Shout, Woo, out, to shout out to Jessie Wu Always showing love no, every, every week, every day. Week. And the thing is, though, she probably doesn't even know, but like every time you share like our stuff, people end up sharing your story or whatever it is. Yeah, our account. Yeah, yes. like, oh my gosh, like she's talking about you guys. Like, Jesse Wu, I remember you when you were on Real House. No. Real, Real, no, Love and Hip Hop Miami. Yeah, mm. And I loved you from that, even though, though that. That show is so toxic. Yeah, facts. You rose above the toxic. <laughs> <laughs> you rose. You rose. <laughs> and you. Sam, you're doing the thing. Yeah, I love facts. you, girl. No, no legit. legit. She's um, so funny. Yeah. She's, She's so, so funny. funny. And also, another time when I saw her was, I don't know if you guys will know this show called The Grapevine. You see yes, on I YouTube. Yes, yeah. 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 About, yeah. It, was oh, like, it was like a... It was like a back chat, but yes, like it was... Yeah. Um, US. It was like US. Yeah, and like yeah. it was... Be- yeah, it was really good. I, I used to... I'm so sad they don't have it anymore. I, I think don't know the, why. I think one of the girls that um, founded it, she sadly <gasps> passed yes. away. You're so right. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Oh, yes, you're man. so right. I used to love. I think oh. it was um, Aisha or something. Yes, I think. Yes, yes. Oh, wow. so well spoken. She literally always articulated herself so well. Like you know, when someone's speaking, you're like, yes, that's exactly what I meant. <laughs> like, she always. Oh, yeah, that's actually so rest sad. In rest in peace. peace. Um, but okay, the song I'm gonna add to the playlist is Relem, which is a new song. I've been Ooh. seeing it on your stories, girl, <laughs> and I've been loving it. I've been listening to it myself, so I'm going to add that. Love and that. the other song I'm going to add is, obviously, I was in Lagos for a week. I have to add Shally Poppy to the playlist. Oh, that was my... Let me see which one you're adding, because I'm adding a Shally Poppy. I'm going to add Ex Convict. Okay, well, it's not going to yeah, be that yeah, one. Okay, cool. <laughs> I'm going to add Ex Convict. And you know me, I can't, I can't. I got to give oh. you a third. Oh, Lord, <laughs> oh, Lord. Playlist is cool. <laughs> Boy, legit. Um, the last denied. one I'm going to add is Guest by Lucky Day. Okay, I've been fair enough. Loving that. Oh. But yeah. Enjoy Are you guys? Um, yeah, I will, but you go ahead. Okay, the first song I'm adding uh is Crayon and Aya Star mm-hmm. Ngozi. Mm-hmm. 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 That's a good one. That's a they yeah, performed yeah. it at Rema because they came out and they did the uh, maybe more and then they mm-hmm. did um Ngozi Fam. Yeah. I didn't know I loved that song as much until because sometimes you know you when you need to hear a song live. That's what happened to... with you and um Chris Brown with Heat. Mm, yeah. yeah. It made me redeep the song. Yeah. yeah. So that song, and I'm also going to add a Shady Poppy song, but this is Shady Poppy featuring Odomo Black, mm-hmm. and it's called Cast. Yeah, yeah, hey. yeah. Good tune. That song was playing throughout Morocco. Mm. E don't cast. <laughs> e don't cast. <laughs> don't cast. Both <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you and your brother had it on the, your story. Yeah, well. like, we, we were playing that, like, because the villa as well has Sonos. Yeah, okay, nice. So, so it was speakers all throughout. Throughout. Love as that. in outside, inside, yeah. it was love lit. It. So yeah, I love that. we were playing music all throughout. So yeah, yeah those I are my two songs that I'm adding. Love that, love that. Um, so the song I'm gonna add, one of them is Boothing, which is verse Simmons verse um featuring Kelly Rowland. Okay. I haven't heard that song in a while, and yeah, I heard it. I was like, oh my god. I think it was on TikTok that I heard it. I was like, oh my gosh, such a tune. Mm. Um, so that's the song I'm gonna add. And then the next one I'm gonna add. Um, it came up on my Spotify radio mm-hmm. um, And it's a girl called Alan um, oh. And it's called When It's All Over mm. It's a good song as well Good okay. R&B tune It is R&B um, <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, those are two songs that I'm going to add to the playlist So yeah, I hope you guys enjoy those songs Let us know if you like them If you're vibing to them, tag us So you guys know that 
you're listening to the playlist. And yeah, that is the song that we're going to add to the song of the week. Really? Cool. Um, so I know we're going to wrap up because time's short, guys. So yeah, the episode time ain't going to be as long as it normally is. But about that first dilemma, mm-hmm. do you feel like, obviously, we've already given our advice on the situation, but when it comes to like your friends intervening in situations that you're in, mm. like how how open are you to that? Like, do you give a pass to certain friends to be like, hey, you have the ability to like actually say this and like, do you know what I mean? Like, I don't know. Like, I, I understand why the girls have reached out to us yeah. s- to some extent, yeah. but I'm also like, it's a bit, if I had that situation, if I was the girl mm. and my friend did that, I don't know how I would actually take as it. As in, you don't, as in her voice, her opinion or her sending, her one, sending, sending the dilemma to another, pe- to another <laughs> okay. place. Yeah. But then also like, Voicing her opinion where she's already told you, and obviously you clearly haven't wanted yeah. to take it on board. I feel like we've kind of spoken about this before. Mm. I think my stance on stuff like this has definitely changed over the last year. Okay. In terms of like people telling me stuff and things like that. Mm. But I still kind of stand still strong in the if I told you about five times mm. and you're not listening, I'm sorry. Yeah. There's only so much I can. If you're not going to listen, mm. then that's fine. You can, it's your life. You can mm. make your own decisions. Will you be there I'll every be time? There. Okay. I will be there every time. I yeah. think that's where I've kind of changed. Before I was just like, you know, I'm never going to mm. But now I think I'm going to be there. Mm. Whether you're crying, whether you're crying tears of joy, tears mm. of sadness and all that stuff. I'm still going to be there. Yeah. And I don't think I'll be the person be like, oh, I, well, I told you so. But I'm still just going to be a supportive friend because mm. that's what I think. A friendship should be. or friend yeah. should be to someone, yeah. but that's that's just my stance. What about you? Mm. Um, sorry, what was the question? Like in terms of like, just, how would you feel? Do, or do if, I give certain people a pass, basically? To tell yeah, them. yeah. But also, how do you feel about that actual that dynamic in terms of someone coming to send something? Or yeah. Yeah. Oh no, please don't send my business to a <laughs> dilemma. <laughs> Thank you for the dilemma. It was very interesting. Yeah, but yeah. I wouldn't, I wouldn't laugh about that. I wouldn't find mm, it funny. Mm. Um, I'm, no, I'm not saying the my... friend should be annoyed at her friends. Like, if, no, no, no. If that's something that you are fine with, like, yeah, yeah, if it's yeah. not, just I'm tell just the next time. My, I'm just talking about myself. Yeah. Mm. Um, I'm happy for my, and I expect to actually my friends to correct me and mm. like tell me when they think I'm going in the wrong direction and like steer me on the right path. Like, mm. I think that what's the point of having friends if they can't do that for you? Yeah. However, I do think there are certain topics that is it's best coming from certain people. Mm, yeah. And I think I've said this on the pod before, I'm not sure. But um, I'm the type of person where like, if I saw a, a friend mm. going through something and I had a strong opinion about it and it's something that I, it's just not sitting right with me. You know, sometimes you can be like, I don't really know how I feel about that situation, but I'm just going to leave it. Yeah. But you know, sometimes you're like, no, nah, I need to actually say something. Yeah. I would rather go to a close, like their closest friend yeah. than have to address it with yeah. them. Yeah. Yeah. Depending on like the relationship I have with them. And yeah, I think that that is, at least for me, that's what I would want other people to do for me as well. Like yeah. Yeah. if we're cool, but we're not cool enough for you to be pulling me out on, yeah. pulling me up on certain things and mm. go and address, like go, and, go yeah. to my best friend and tell mm. her and she can address it. Yeah, and 100%. she will use her judgment to decide whether you're right or whether you're wrong mm. or whether she should tell me or not. Or, mm. Do you know what I mean? That's how I feel about it, personally. Mm. Um, mm. But like you said, like I would still be there for my friends if, yeah, even if I said the same thing multiple times. Yeah, no, I basically like co-sign everything you guys have said. Mm. Um, but yeah, I, I think, I don't know, I do feel some type, I would feel some type of way if I then come and see my, my dilemmas now on a, on a pod. I would. I'm just being real. I know it's our pod and obviously it's great content. And also, like, we just do want to talk about these things. Yeah. Um, but I would feel some type of way about it. That's me personally. Not everyone would. Yeah. Um, and it's not like I'm going to cut off a friend. Like, if it happened, I'll just tell them next time. Like, so one, it's a one-time correction. Once, you, you can't repeat it. It's not, it's not an offense that you can repeat tw- twice. Yeah. I'd be like, okay, it's yeah. fine. Like, yeah. One and done. It's a one and done but situation. But even, even if... Why is there even room to repeat? Why do you always have a story yeah. that, we can, that could be on the podcast? That could be on the podcast, yeah. It's even true. But even if I do, <laughs> even if I do, don't be repeating it. Do you know what I mean? Imagine, imagine, yeah, they're like, ah. So you've heard it on the first podcast, and like, ah, I sent it to three podcasts. Too. <laughs> and episodes are still loading week after week. <laughs> and they haven't read it yet. I don't know what to tell you. Facts. So I don't know when this one was sent as well, so you don't even Quite know. Like, yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Shout sure. out that situation. Yeah, yeah, legit, legit. But I was what I, the second part of my question was. So, like you just said, now you said with like your close friend, like there's 
certain leniencies that you'll give where, okay, it has to come from this sort of person or this person has like the right to tell me about that. Mm -hmm. Have you decided that because of maybe how long your friendship has been with that person? Is it because you guys have gone through certain things or how do you decide for like, okay, this is the type of person that, or this is the person that I can actually hear something from? Is it their character or is it more the relationship you have with them? Or what is it that you use to decide that? I think, are you asking... The friend that you would want to The friend hear. that I would want to hear from. Yes. How have I decided that that, that, that is the, the person I want to hear yeah. from? Is it more how they deliver it to you? Is it more that you trust no, their I think, opinion? No, I think it's because if they're a close friend to me, they, mm. will they would know what I'm mm. dealing with, if that mm. makes sense. Like, mm. I would have told them stuff before. Yeah. So them hearing that, them coming to me and telling me about the situation, yeah, it's not they would already be privy. Yeah. Kind of privy, maybe not 100%, but they'll yeah. kind of be privy to something. Something. And they mm. will know how to handle me. Like, mm. they will know what to say, what not to say, mm. how to deal with. They, yeah, they mm. would know me, basically. Mm. I think that's, that's so what it's it more is. about how they are in terms of delivering the message to you. Yeah. But not necessarily that you actually. Is it that you fully trust their judgment? Like, I think, yeah. I think, it, right? I think fully trust their, trust their judgment. Yeah. They're my friends. So clearly, yeah. we have some sort of connection. Yeah. And the fact that they will probably be privy to some of the things that we've gone through in the past and yeah. things like that. Yeah. So they will know how to kind of handle the situation or they know me basically. Yeah. So I would, I would, I would hope that they would be able to know how to, to deal with, with it, if that makes sense. Yeah. 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 Mm. Makes sense. Makes sense. How about you, Sharon? Yeah. I think the same. Like, I, I think your point about context is actually so true because mm. If you're not close to someone, they may not know other stuff that's going on in your life. Yeah. And that might not be the perfect yeah. time for them to start telling you off about the way that you've been acting, acting the last yeah, year. It's yeah. like you don't even know that like I'm going through X, Y, and Z. Mm. Yeah. So I think that that's really important. But then mm. I think also what it's just like if I've always had that relationship with you where mm. like you and I always correct one another, then it's mm. just you're just naturally adept to, at doing that. Mm. If I've tried to correct a different friend before and then they've been really like standoffish, mm. then don't come and correct me then. Yeah, like, that's, that's, true. that's you, generally how a two way I thing. It's a two way yeah. thing. Yeah, you yeah, can't yeah. always have the right to just bash me all the time. And then when yeah. I try and correct you as well, it's yeah. like, no, I don't want to hear that. So yeah. I think for me, I'd rather you just go to my best friend because I've just always had that, just yeah. always had that yeah. kind of relationship. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Makes, sense. makes sense. I just want to discuss that because when I did the situation, I was like, ah, if it was me, you <laughs> anyway. <laughs> We are all different. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm crying. Um, but anyway, guys, that's um, that's it for today's episode. Hope you guys enjoyed it. And as always, make sure you guys follow us on our socials. That is BTS Pod underscore on Twitter, on Instagram, and on TikTok. Make sure you guys follow us on our uh, on subscribe. Sorry to our YouTube channel. That is the BTS Podcast. And like we said before, we are. Um, performing live at the O2 Shepherd's Bush. Performing. We're going to be dancing. We're going to be dancing, performing, doing all that kind of stuff. Um, <laughs> on Sunday, the 10th of December, 2023. The links to the show will be in our description below. They're basically almost sold out. So please make sure you grab them. Mm -hmm. And we'll hope to see you guys there as well. Um, and yeah, just thank you so much for the love. Keep on subscribing, keep on sharing. And we will see you guys in our next episode. Bye. Bye.